Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to find the value of the following integral. Actually, this integral can't be computed with ordinary methods, so we will have to use complex integration or Laplace transform. But today we will employ a beautiful trick, which is the Feynman trick. Give a like to the video and subscribe, and let's start. We'll consider a new function f, defined as an integral depending on a parameter y, in this case, we can see that if we put y equals 0, cosine of 0 is 1, and f of 0 is going to equal the integral of 1 over x squared plus 1 between 0 and plus infinity, which is pi over 2. We will see how we use this fact later. Let's write our function again in the center, and what we will do is to differentiate the two sides, and for the derivative on the right side, which is a derivative of an integral that depends on y, we will use the Leibniz integral rule that says that the derivative of the integral is the integral of the derivative, under some conditions, of course. This theorem is the essence of Feynman's trick. After applying this to our integral, we can see that we need to differentiate cosine xy in y, which is minus x sine yx. We are going to simplify the expression inside the integral in the following way. And when we put it back in our integral, it will give us two parts. The first part is a well-known, which is the Dirichlet integral. I have made a video about it. I will leave the link in the description. So we will get the following formula for our derivative. We will differentiate a second time and we will use the same Leibniz rule of differentiating under the integral sign. The calculation is simple. This will give us the following expression, which is exactly our function. So we will get a second order linear differential equation. This differential equation is very easy to solve. And the solution is c1 exponential minus y plus c2 exponential y. We are interested in how to solve these equations. I can make some videos on solving them. Now, since f is bounded, c2, which is the coefficient of exponential y, should be zero, because otherwise f is going to tend to infinity when y tends to plus infinity. We have seen that f of zero is pi over two. When we put this in our expression, this will give us that c1 is pi over 2. Since our function that is defined with a, an integral is the simple form pi over 2 exponential of minus y, our integral is exactly f of 1, and this gives us pi over 2e. I hope the presentation was clear. Like, subscribe, and comment. And till the next time.